Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at one that was a specific request, which I should have done a long time ago, especially considering it's one of my favorites. Uh, it is the Guardian Angel uh, Templar Coat, not the Hellforge Coat. Now the Guardian Angel Templar Coat is a uh, Nightmare Difficulty item, which is relatively easy to come by. Um, and I have actually gone through the process of upgrading several of mine because of how good they are. Um, now Guardian Angel Templar Coats are um, relatively low level. And, uh, and at level 45, which is what you can uh, put them on at, the Guardian Angel Templar Coat is pretty darn sweet. Um, it does only have a defense of 770 to 825 when it's in its nightmare form, and uh, and the level requirement obviously being level 45 is not too bad, with a strength requirement of 118. Now, uh, this particular item is absolutely amazing for paladins, but can also be good for other characters as well. And uh, let's go over the stats, shall we? So right off the bat, you see it has plus one to Paladin skills, which is amazing for Paladins. Definitely very, very nice. Uh, we also have a 30% faster block rate on this bad boy, which means that it is going to make your blocking faster um, on any character. Um, and there are very few items that provide block rate that are not shields. Uh, we also have a 20% increased chance of blocking as well, which means that our block chance is going to be higher. So we will have a much easier time hitting that 75% block chance, which is definitely very, very nice as well. Uh, we also have a attack rating against the demons of 2.5 per character level, uh, which does go all the way up to 247 at its max. Uh, and as you can see, mine is 227 right now at level 91. We also have an enhanced defense on this, which varies between 180 to 200%. And as you can see, mine is 199%, which is why I chose to upgrade this particular piece to a Hellforge plate. Uh, we also get plus 15 to maximum resistances of all different resistances. Um, and as you can see, when I take this armor off, um, you can look at my resistances over here. And uh, let me move myself out of the way so you guys can see. I'm rocking 80%. Fire, 78% cold, 81% lightning, and 75% poison. And when I put this back on, you'll notice that now I'm at 95% fire, 93% cold, 95% lightning, and 90% poison. And this is because it increases all of my maximums by 15% each, which is amazing. Um, we can also have plus 4 to light radius on this bad boy, so it'll help you see better in the dark. Now, I have socketed mine. Uh, I have actually put in an all resistance 7 plus 2 minimum damage jewel. I just put that in for the time being until I found something better. Uh, but you can throw in all sorts of things in the Guardian Angel Templar coat. Um, you can throw in IAS jewels. You can throw in Shale Rune for faster hit recovery. Uh, you can throw in an Um Rune for more resistances. Um, which is one thing that this actually does lack. While it does give you maximum resistances, it doesn't give you actual resistances. Um, so you do need to have those resistances to, to actually hit the cap that it's giving you. Um, now this item can be upgraded to the Hellforge Plate. And when you upgrade it to the Hellforge Plate, you'll notice that the defense goes way up from the 825 defense, which is the maximum on the Templar Coat, to 1,542 defense on the Hellforge Plate. Unfortunately, the Strength Requirement also goes up to 196, which is relatively high, and uh, 66 on the Level Requirement. Now depending on the kind of uh, Paladin you are, you may or may not want to upgrade this. Uh, if you're a Hamburden, for instance, who has relatively low strength requirements, you're probably not going to upgrade this. Um, if you are a character who is utilizing very heavy equipment and it already has extremely high strength anyway, it might not be such a bad idea to uh, go ahead and upgrade it for the defense. Now this also comes in an ethereal form, uh, which I actually have an ethereal one on my necromancer. Now the, ne the ethereal version is absolutely great or uh, necromancer, or sorry, mercenaries, uh, because it makes them relatively immune to the council. Uh, the council is dishing out really large amounts of fire, lightning, poison, all sorts of very evil effects, and, uh, and giving your mercenary a Templar coat can be a very effective way to keep them alive versus the council. As you can see here, I have a Guardian Angel Hellforge plate, which so I have upgraded this one as well, because this one also came with 197% enhanced defense, and it is ethereal, and with the 50% bonus that it gains as ethereal, it is 2,102 defense. It's nuts. 
Um, now, let's calculate really quickly what the defense would be on a Templar coat if it was ethereal before upgrading. Um, so we would be rocking a uh, 274 Templar coat. So 274 plus 50% uh, equals 411 plus the 200%, which is on the item. So a ethereal Templar coat would be 1,233 defense. And uh, the ethereal Hellforge plate is 2,102. So a uh, very, very nice upgrade for a mercenary. As you can see, it gives him a rather nice 3,811 before any kind of uh, buffs. Um, and this also gives him, as you can see, 90% fire, 90% cold, 90% lightning, and 90% poison resistance. This is a way that you can help your mercenary stay alive in very dangerous elemental situations. Um, and if I take him to the council and I actually let him run around and try and murder things, he actually does a fairly good job staying alive uh, because of this Templar coat. And, uh, and that's really what the Guardian Angel Templar coat is about. It is about the ability to make your character tankier, make your character stronger, have more absorption than you otherwise normally would. Um, you could utilize this in uh, PvP, you can utilize this in PvE, you can utilize this uh, in many, many different ways. Um, I have actually built several characters who just walk into the um, Uber Tristram area and literally take everything that the monsters have to dish out and laugh about it, uh, because this can be combined with other very nice items. So let me go back over to my paladin real quick, and I'll show you what I mean. So one of my goals with my paladin is to make a character that is extremely tanky. Um, I want him to be able to take the damage and, uh, and not have to worry about it. Um, so he is running, for instance, um, the... Guardian Angel Hellforge Plate, um, and he also normally has a Raven Frost, as well as a uh, Wisp Protector, which is for the Lightning uh, Resistance. I seem to have stripped most of his equipment for some reason. Uh, in this game, you'll find that as you play, uh, you can share items between all of your characters, and this sharing of items is both a, uh, a, a, a blessing and a curse, because quite honestly... Um, it spreads your items to the four winds, and you have to figure out where the hell they are. Um, but basically, what you can do is you can actually utilize this plate. Uh, you can get your 95% all resistances. Um, you can utilize other skills, like, for instance, you can utilize resist fire, resist cold, resist lightning, to increase those maximum resistances uh, to make sure that they're hitting the cap. That's why I'm at 93% cold, because I don't quite have enough points into my resist cold to hit the 95%. Um, you can combine it with other items, which also give maximum resistance. And uh, you can combine it with items that give absorption. So Raven Frost, uh, Wisp Projector, uh, Rising Sun Amulet, um, I believe uh, Hellmouth Gauntlets. Uh, we also have um, the uh, Thunder God's Vigor uh, Belt. And uh, you can also combine them with things like Hotspur Boots, um, Inferno Strides, those also have maximum resistance. Um, Exile has maximum resistance on it, a plus 5% uh, to both. I think it's Cold and Lightning. Um, and, uh, you know, as you go forward and you look at these items and you figure out how to make this work, you will notice that it's not too difficult to get your resistances to 95% and also have absorption in all three elements, uh, which is one of the amazing things about the Guardian Angel Hellforge plate, is it is just a extremely defensive, tanky plate. I mean, it gives you faster blocking. It gives you increased chance of blocking. It gives you plus to all your maximum resistances, and it gives you a massive defense bonus. And if that's not enough, you can socket it. You can throw in a little bit more. You can throw in some more resistances. You can put in some increased attack speed if you want to. Uh, you can put in some uh, a shale rune for extra faster hit recovery. Um, you could even uh, just simply throw in a really nice like 15 all resistances, um, you know, something else jewel, uh, which would have something nice on it. Like you do a 15% IAS, 15% all resistances jewel. And, uh, and all of these things can just really work very well together. Um, you can also find a really, really nice shield with all resistances on it as well. So for instance, if you were to make yourself a sanctuary, in a 45 all resistance shield, you could potentially make a shield which has, uh, what, is, what is the cap on Sanctuary? I think it's like 70 uh, plus the 45 that's already on it. 
So like 115 resistances. Uh, let's just make sure on that. So Sanctuary D2. Yeah, so 70 is the cap on uh, Sanctuary. So if you were to make yourself, for instance, a just a really boss Sanctuary, just find yourself a 45 all resistance like Sacred Tars or something, and uh, and throw in the uh, Coco Mal, which is the rune word for Sanctuary, and you did ran manage to roll 70 on the all res, plus the 45 base, you'd be looking at 115 on the, uh, on the resistances, which of course would definitely cap you out from the 15% max on the armor. Um, and this is the kind of crazy stuff that you can do to make your character as tanky as humanly possible. Not only defense, but also elementally uh, tanky. And, um, and building a character that is super tanky is actually something that is really, really fun to do. Um, I actually have one available for download if you would like to download one. Um, his name is actually uh, Sherman. GGM underscore Sherman. Um, he is actually up there for download. And... Um, I may have actually messed around with him a little bit and kind of uh, kind of screwed up his setup. But uh, if you go to the actual character and uh, an actual video of my Sherman Tank video, uh, there is an original file of him before I edited out his equipment. And uh, it gives you a much better idea of, uh, of what kind of tankiness you can achieve. Uh, but as you can see here, I have a uh, Guardian Angel Hellforge plate with a Burr rune in it. Um, I also uh, took off his Raven Frost, which, uh, oh no, he's, he's still rocking his Raven Frost, never mind. Uh, he was rocking a pair of gloves, which was the uh, Hellmouth War Gauntlets, so he had the fire absorption. Um, he was rocking the um, Dwarf Star, I believe, or the Wisp Projector, one or the other, or the uh, Lightning Resistance. There it is, Wisp Projector for the uh, Lightning Absorption. And then, uh, so he has literally cold absorption, lightning absorption, and fire absorption, along with 95% to all resistances. And, uh, and I took most of his charms away, so he was uh, rocking not really the best equipment here. But um, it's really not a big deal. Sadness. Why did I have to break him? I broke him. I broke him. I'm pretty sure he was using G-Face. Was he using G-Face? I don't even remember if he was using G-Face. But this video is not about him. This video is about the Guardian Angel Templar Coat. Uh, but as you can see, I utilized the Guardian Angel Hellforge plate in the creation of this ultra-tanky character uh, because it really does offer some of the best bonuses for a tanking character pretty much bar none. It has the the faster block, it has the increased chance of blocking, it has the enhanced defense, it's got the maximum resistances, it, in, and I even put a Burr Rune in there for 8% extra damage reduction, which uh, which certainly does make a lot of sense, I suppose. Uh, if you're trying to make a su super tanky character, why not add a little bit of uh, damage reduction as well? Well, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, even when we're talking about a plate that has come down from the heavens, and uh, as always, keep watching.